men and women, driven by passion, committed to find happiness and meaning. They strive to better our lives and make us aspire to help others. They are visionaries. They advocate events, ideas, technological innovations that make significant shifts in our thinking. To make a better future for us, they pursue game-changing inventions that make us change the way we think, we live, we carry our lives, the way we see things. We ask ordinary people about their ideas and what they believe are game-changers. Journey with us as we tell stories of these visionaries and their game-changers. The glow of solar energy, how it is attracting green-minded investors and consumers like moths to a flame. A few solar panels like this can light up a few homes. Put thousands of them together like this, and you can light up a city. This is the San Carlos Solar Farm in Negros Occidental, the largest solar power plant so far in the country. It is made up of 88,000 panels capable of generating 13 megawatts of electricity. It is one great game-changing leap in our quest for clean, renewable energy. The island of Negros is blessed with almost year-round tropical sunshine, perfect for sugarcane plantations. But in Barangay Punao, in the outskirts of San Carlos City, an open field is planted not to sugar canes, but to solar panels. Hectares and hectares of it. Now, us Negrenses are not only harvesting sugar cane, but also sunlight to power our homes. Experts say San Carlos City is the best place in the country to put up a solar power plant. It sits just on the right coordinates for maximum solar radiation. And because it is on the eastern coast of Negros Island, it has minimum cloud cover and enjoys the most hours of sunshine. But how do hours of sunshine translate into kilowatts? The Sakasol power plant has state-of-the-art solar panels made up of individual silicon solar cells. Electrons are produced as the sun's rays strikes these cells. The direct current produced is stored in a container box and then flows to an inverter, which converts direct current to alternating current. The current then flows to an area where it is monitored and controlled. The SCADA room is the master control room, where power is managed before feeding it to the utility power grid. Conveniently, a 69 kilovolt cable of the national grid runs beside the Sakasol solar power plant. Last May, President Aquino himself switched on the plant, the first large-scale, commercially financed solar power plant in the country. Uh, how has the power plant been doing? Since that, that month, May of 2014, until now, uh, our operation is continuously running and we have no uh, major problems. That no technical take. problems. Okay. No. Okay. Engineer Saldana says, once all the phases of the Sakasol plant are completed, a total of 45 megawatts of electricity would be added to the national grid. The plant would supplement the power needs of the booming area of Negros Occidental, Negros Oriental, Cebu, and Panay. The Philippines has one of the highest electricity rates in the world, but the demand for power still grows every year. Due to this demand, the Department of Energy predicted power shortages, especially in areas at the extreme parts of the electric grid systems. Thus, remodeling of energy generation and distribution through renewable sources of power is fundamental. When it comes to uh, demand natin sa electricity, kailangan ang electricity natin may independent tayo dyan and then secured ang sources natin. So to meet 
those requirements, energy independence and energy security, then let's develop our own resources. The government and green energy advocates hope solar power plants can help fill the void. If this happens, it would certainly change the game of renewable energy distribution in the country. The Solar Power Authority, headed by Ms. Techi Capellian, has long been advocating clean energy. I think what is more important is really to support clean energy, to put it more into our system so that you know, we are able to mitigate this and reverse this trend of global warming. So at 6 o'clock, we know that the sun rises. At 6 o'clock, we know that it sets. So we are sure for 12 hours, we can access free energy. It's there. You know, you use solar technology for battery charging for your phone. You use solar technology for calculators. You know, so this is in fact how solar technology started. It's the only technology that you can scale up. That is the game changer char character of solar. For green advocates, the math is easy. At its current capacity, the Sakasol power output would be equivalent to a regular plant producing the same power but with almost 15,000 tons of carbon emissions per year. The Sakasol plant is the first solar power plant to operate under the terms of the 2008 Renewable Energy Act's fit-in tariff. A move to encourage power producers to contribute renewable energy to the national grid. Of course, not just companies, but even individual solar-powered households can join in on the act. When you put a more efficient solar module in your roof, moving forward 20 years from now, it can power more of your appliances. That is the implication of this technology in solar. Now, if the battery, if the storage technology keeps up with the development of solar, you don't need to be dependent on the grid because what you harvest in the morning, you store in the battery and at night, you use the battery. So it's, this is really the technology of the future. Construction of the second phase of the Sakasol power plant is set to start soon and expected to generate 23 megawatts more of electricity. But homes don't need to get hooked up to a solar farm to get cheap electricity. That when Game Changer returns. So who or what is a Game Changer? Game Changers are things, ideas, or they are people who put forth pioneering concepts that change the way things are made, the way we do things, or even the way we think. We'll discover the most enterprising people, seek and encourage potential trailblazers, and take a peek into the minds of Game Changers. Game -changers.